Played, but uh, obviously the final result, not where you want it to be, right? No, like we turn pucks over, it's like, oh my god, like, I mean, excluding the sixth goal, which is an empty, well, that was a puck bet on the wall. I think like four of the five they had were, they had goals three or four seconds off their run on sticks, and it, it's just, you can't, you can't win hockey games turning pucks over, and even. They had some non-goals, like Leo turns it over inside the blue line to give us a wide open net. I mean, just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't, we've been talking about it all year, about puck management, and played hard. I mean, the effort was there. We had the puck a lot this game. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it, we just, you know, just, I don't want to dissect each turnover, but they're just not good plays and then you know I, the first five minutes we're just rolling lines and we're getting pressure and then um, you know that's the way we have to play I don't think there were any turnovers the first five minutes and then we just decided that we were going to play pond hockey and uh, they took advantage of it was that a problem more in one zone than another no all three zones it's unbelievable like I told them afterwards like you know like 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 their fifth goal like we have full possession of the puck Full possession puck, and we throw it laterally off a shin pad, and they walk in and score the fifth goal. We don't go through the the, the scorer's hands; he just dances around our, our player. And they, I mean, it's just uh, to me, like you can take the game, you know, dissect it all you want, analytically, scores, shots on goal, scoring chances. It's like any sport, you know, football, big stats, turnover, right? Basketball, big stats, turnover. Hockey, big stats, turnover too. And we just we just turned it over repeatedly. Had, even when we got back in the game, it was four to two. We were turning over at the offensive blue line, turning over at the red line, with full possession instead of just banging it in. And like good teams, like really good mature teams, just don't do that. Now, how do you respond to this? Do you sit them down for a long film session? Is it get them out on the ice and and reinforce the lessons? I mean, how do you, how do you go about it? Well, with, with a young team. Yeah, but it's just more you just communicate the. The message is that you can't turn pucks over. Like I told them, nobody's trying to be selfish. Nobody's trying to be negligent with the puck. They get caught up in the game. It's an easy game from the press box. It's an easy game from the bench. They've got to make split second decisions. But I think when, you know, it's in their DNA, when there's a crowded blue line to chip it in and go hunt pucks down, they'll do it. Like right now they're struggling with being creative with the puck and making the fancier play rather than putting it deep and go hunt pucks down like you did the first five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they are. They're a transition team and they, they wait they wait for turnovers. They'll take the breakout passes and send them sixty feet up the boards and they'll spring their wingers and their send them off the zone along with their net front D, stretch you out. We knew that. We just played them a week ago. You know, ironically, there wasn't a lot of that going on. It was more about us, you know, not getting it deep and then four or five seconds later in our zone. I think they had two goals from their D-man going down the wall. Either they scored the goal, they were a product of the uh, first assist, and we let the guy go down the wall. And um, yeah, and so it, it was funny because after the first period, the chances were fairly even. We were down two nothing, and uh, they didn't have a lot of time in our zone, but they got quality chances. And that is not the outcome you wanted, but to see uh, your player Leo Sullivan to carry this team tonight, what tells you a lot? Well, he's a player. I mean, he's a he's a he's going to be a star in this league. I mean, he could have had five goals, really. He uh, he missed a couple, but he's a star player. And you know, he went a little bit of a dip, like a week ago. He, he you know he kind of lost a little energy, I think. He went into a dip, and then the last two games he's skating. You can just see him. He's got a he's got a pace to his game for a big guy that you don't see a lot in this league, and obviously he's got terrific hands and he's confident. So, you know, it's it was nice to see that. I mean, he he deserves it, and um, he's just going to keep getting better. Touch on the Sandheim goal a little bit where he dipped down the wall, but I think he's had four guys kind of in a, a row defending the ice there. I mean, is that that kind of a that's not experience? the strategy? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I mean, we had a guy. I think it was McTavish and. And Stromy were uncertain who to take, and then Frank left the front of it to take somebody on the other side. Is we were just talking before. We're usually pretty solid defensively. You know, we'll spend time in our zone because we played a man-on-man -man system. But 
obviously somebody lost his man and didn't somebody nobody adjusted but yeah that was a those two goals were really to me were, were you know they were kind of like obviously momentum breakers so coach the chemistry between Alex and Leo tonight was pretty evident obviously from their two goals um, with Trevor out is that possibly something we could see in the future Alex and Leo playing more together possibly we yeah, I mean, it's funny because McTavish's line was red hot in the NHL and they've kind of gone a little bit south. Um, we're trying to find chemistry with Leo and, and Terry and then, you know, obviously Z wasn't playing tonight, so we just thought it would be good to get a veteran with Leo and I think that they had a really good chemistry. I think Troy had another step to his game. He could have had a couple goals too. He just kind of fumbled it when he stick handled through the defenseman a few times. But, um, I mean, I... I mean, that's obviously, it's a good starting point for Leo and Corn and Terry. You had the uh, the hot streak and then come home and, and yeah. have a little dip here. I mean, yeah. from a development standpoint, is, is that to be expected? I mean, and and then it's how you respond to it? Yeah, I mean, I mean we, we had big one at Arizona, a huge win with Vegas. You know, I come home from a road trip. Usually the first two after a road trip are clunkers, uh, especially with the long travel. And I thought Pittsburgh game was a good game, and we, we could have won that game. It's obviously a one nothing game until Crosby hits the empty netter. And tonight it was, I, I you know, I didn't think we w were not going to win, even when it was 2 nothing. It got to 3 nothing. We got lucky because they disallowed the goal, and they missed the open net. I'm thinking luck's on our side. Mm -hmm. But we just, again, we just kept, when, when fate was giving us the game back, we just kept turning it over. And uh, I don't really get into, you know, preparing for a dip or young team stuff. I mean, I'm looking at where we are right now. And, um, you know, we're at seven and six, and we've got to get back on a winning streak. Please go. Yep. Okay.